we're going to be reacting to space videos. Introducing the invigorating instant bingo instant makeover. So exciting, it takes you from this to this. Two cares. Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. So today we are going to be jumping over oh God, to a no, new simulation. No. And last time we did something on binary stars. So today, let's What's do something so... on binary moons. Uh, for this, we're just going to do this one. Hey, 42 here. Every galaxy has a supermassive black hole at the centre of it. The galaxy NGC 6240 within the Ophiuchus constellation is a super galaxy that was formed as a result of two smaller galaxies colliding with one another. As a result, NGC 6240 has not one, but two supermassive black holes at its centre. Astronomers believe that one day these two black holes may very well collide with one another. So, what would happen if two black holes collided? The collision of two black holes is such a rare event that it has never actually been observed by scientists here on Earth. We have, however, run extremely complex computer simulations to determine what the result would be if two black holes did collide. Firstly, it's important to understand the enormity and sheer density of black holes. A typical supermassive black hole can have a mass of anywhere from many millions to several billions times the mass of our sun. The largest black hole we have ever found is in the galaxy Holmberg 15a. The black hole at its core is 15,000 light years across and has an estimated mass of 170 billion times that of our sun, or more properly referred to as 170 billion solar masses. So, what would happen? Well, there's basically two possible outcomes of such a catastrophic event. Which possibility depends on the speed at which the two black holes are travelling, oh, wow. how fast they are spinning, and the angle of their collision. If the two black holes are spinning at very high speeds and come together at just the right angle, the smaller black hole will be slingshotted away from the bigger black hole and sent hurtling through space, similar to how two spinning tops bounce off each other when collided. But the second, more likely outcome is that they will slowly come closer and closer together until they can't escape each other's gravity and they eventually become one. This process would be unbelievably violent. 
When this happens, the resulting black hole is known as a binary black hole. As the two black holes start to merge, they would appear to be a distorted mess of matter. But as they come closer and closer together, the resulting black hole goes through a process known as ring down. This is when any distortion in the shape is slowly dissipated and the new binary black hole becomes more and more circular until any asymmetry is lost and the black hole once again becomes a nearly perfectly circular disk of swirling death. The energy emitted from the collision would be so great that it would send ripples through the space-time fabric of the universe. Just think about that for a second. Two black holes colliding would cause the very fabric of the universe, space and time, to ripple, like a gigantic pebble in a pond. These ripples are known as gravitational waves. Gravitational waves have never been observed here on Earth. In recent years, we have built large instruments on Earth that are capable of detecting gravitational waves far away in space. And even more powerful instruments are currently under construction. Why is it so important that we detect these gravitational waves? Well, gravitational waves are a fundamental component of Einstein's theory of general relativity. Detecting them and thus proving their existence would be irrefutable evidence to back up Einstein's theory, as well as increasing our own understanding of gravity and how it behaves. So, to summarise, if you see two black holes about to collide, get the hell out of there. Thanks for the view. Subscribe for more 42. So yeah guys, everybody, bye!